What's up? I'm Percy. This is Mercy. Mercy. Getting dressed. <laughs> Welcome to the hit brand new morning show called the. Call Hack Hack. Where every day we upload a short little video that's hopefully something inspiring, motivating, educating. Is that even a word? I know Mercy called me out on it. I think edu. You. It, it's educating. I think that's legit. How about, hopefully it's How about education? The educational, I think, is more common. The news of the day. Jennifer Doudna and Emmanuel Charpentier, they won co-Nobel Prizes in chemistry. How do you win prizes in chemistry? Well, the Nobel Prize is basically an award for people who've done something very important. And there's Nobel Prizes in physics, I believe mathematics. Whoops. Poetry. These are really just important prizes that are basically acknowledging, hey, you've done something that's incredibly important for humanity, for the world. Jennifer and Emmanuel, they discovered something we call CRISPR or CRISPR-Cas9. It's basically a way to edit genes. Genes are the things that kind of are like the programming language for biology for you know, what makes us. And so they created a tool, they discovered how people can manipulate genes much easier. I'm so sorry, it's called CRISPR? They call it CRISPR. <laughs> I don't know about that name. Well, I don't think you have a say in it. It's been out now for a while and, it, and its name is CRISPR. All right. The outcome of this is insane. We're now like turning pigs into organ donors. We're making now, new it, fruits. What? We're turning pigs into it. Yeah, we can take a pig and now with CRISPR change its DNA to make it grow different things. If we were to figure out that, hey, this is the gene that causes heart disease, we could maybe now fix that. It's creating new treatments for cancer. It could help eliminate mosquitoes. They can start manipulating the genes of a mosquito so that they don't procreate anymore, stuff like that. There's a lot of ethical things involved here that need to be figured out. This isn't the place for it, but it's an amazing technology that is going to help us make better medicine, better science, better things for us and tons of people are using it. Well, so what caught my attention was, it's a discovery. There was even a time when Emmanuel, she was in her lab, people were pushing back. They didn't wanna kind of investigate a certain kind of RNA or something that, that goes into CRISPR. She finally found a student who would do the research uh, for her and volunteer to do the research on her team, and they made this crazy discovery. is simply the result of being curious. And you know what today is? Curious Events Day. Today is a day to celebrate mysteries and being curious. All these Nobel Prizes, the result of just being curious about the world. Like, how does this work? I left this glass out here. It's disgusting. It needs to go in the wash. I left this glass out here this morning. You can barely see what's going on here, but it's full of, by this point, what's in here? Ice cream? Mm -hmm. Do you, why is there ice cream in here? Because I took my spoon in it to get a carrot out. Why was the carrot in your glass of water? <laughs> um, because it was an experiment. What were you experimenting with? Why did you put the carrot in the water? What were you trying to prove? That it sinks. That it sinks? Did you think it would sink? Yeah. Yeah? Kind of. Yeah. Mommy yeah. thought it would float, right? Mm -hmm. But it sunk. And that was being curious. That was awesome. You, like, didn't really know. People kind of told you what they thought, but you were like, you know what, I'm gonna see what it does on my own. So you created this little experiment and you were curious. That is exactly what you need to do in your life. Be more curious. You're doing a really great job at it. Except it kind of looks like I poured milk in it. Well now, now it's just a mess. Don't drink it now. I would not touch, yeah. I feel, I regret touching the glass for some reason. You know what it's time for? The Otherwise known as the Cooper Percolator. Yeah, but nobody knows what some of these things even mean. It's 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 the joke of the day, folks. The Cooper Percolator. Hey, Merce. Yeah, what's up? If Elon Musk and Bill Gates put their genes into a baby, if we could figure <laughs> now that we have CRISPR, maybe we could take Elon Musk's and Bill Gates' genes and put them into into a baby. Okay. 
What would happen? I don't know. The baby would elongate. <laughs> <laughs> what? The baby would elongate. I, I get the elongate, but what? So good. So that was a version of a joke we stole from Ethan Roberts 123 on Reddit. Uh, he told it a little differently, but we created our own. If you're new here, please hit the subscribe button. Please ring the bell, and we will see you tomorrow. Bye, everybody. Also, do that. What are you gonna do with the corn? Um, put it in the microwave. Put little kernels in the microwave that are not dry. To see the. What happens? Yeah. Since normally if they're dry, it wouldn't make popcorn, but. Yeah, we're gonna see if we can pop regular corn. Yeah, that's an interesting Not experiment. Not exactly. The experiment is more to see what would happen. Gotcha.